Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Ghost Stories in Folklore. Tonight, my friends, I'm going to share with you some of the haunted history of a very famous theater in Washington, D.C., and that is Ford's Theater. Three days after the surrender of General Lee at Appomattox Courthouse, putting an end to the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln sat relaxing in his upholstered rocking chair on April 14, 1865, in his presidential theater box at Ford's Theater, in what seemed like a very safe and comfortable place. To his right sat his wife Mary, leaning close and laughing at the actor on stage. Just beyond her were their guests, Major Henry Rothon and Clara Harris. or before 10.30 p.m., the pleasant Good Friday evening turned into a nightmare when an assassin crept into the box and shot President Lincoln in the head at close range. He shot the president! The assassin, John Wicks Booth, who had thorough knowledge of Ford's theater because of his acting career, leapt from the presidential box onto the stage and shouted, Sic Semper Tyrannus! Translation, thus always to tyrants. When Booth jumped from the box, he landed incorrectly, breaking his leg, yet he managed to hobble off the back of the stage out into the alleyway and onto a horse where he escaped out into the night. This event not only set off a massive manhunt for the assassin of the president, but also put a nation into mourning and set into motion a series of events that continue to happen over and over again to this day, my friends. The paranormal reports that come out of Ford's theater have typical characteristics similar to that of a residual type haunting. In a residual haunting, the apparitions involved or phenomena that can be heard are that somewhat similar to a past event, and they play over and over again like a recording of that tragic moment. The theory behind the residual haunting is that certain building materials can capture and record the energy of the tragic event, or at a time of heightened emotion. It is still not known what triggers the release of this recording to be replayed, yet researchers in the paranormal are still trying to answer that question. It is not certain if it is the right weather conditions, the witness's energy or level of sensitivity, or some other type of energy release. But listen to these reports that come out of the theater, and make your own determination, my friends. See if you feel that this could be a residual type haunting. Many people say that the theater is haunted not only by Lincoln's ghost, 
but Mary Todd Lincoln and John Wilkes Booth as well. Many of the witnesses have seen and heard the entire tragic event played out even to this day. The sounds of disembodied footsteps rushing the balcony box can be heard, and then followed by a loud gunshot and screams. Some have seen Mary Todd Lincoln's ghost shortly afterwards leaning over the railing, pointing towards the stage and yelling, He killed the president. Abraham Lincoln's apparition has been seen by some in various places of the theater, especially in the booth where he was killed. Others have reported seeing the ghost of Booth and feeling that he is haunting one particular part of the stage. Some of the actors have stood on the left center of the stage, have reported a cold spot, becoming nauseous and having uncontrollable tremors causing them to shake and mess up their lines. Booth's ghost has also been seen running across the stage on numerous occasions, perhaps the exact area that he ran to make his escape. The tragic events that took place in this theater on April 14, 1865 were definitely traumatic and had such a huge swing in emotions, as at the exact time of the shooting, the audience was laughing at one of the lines from the play, and most of the people that were in attendance barely laughed again for the rest of their lives. Could this be a residual haunting that will forever continue to be replayed over and over again, my friends? Well, it has now for over 150 years. But just remember to stop by the Ford's Theater if you are in the Washington, D.C. area and see if you witness this occurrence yourself. If you like this episode of Ghost Stories and Folklore, be sure to hit the like button. And if you would like more videos from Panity videos in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications. If you dare. <laughs>